My name is Ningyu Kurutivi. I draw. Just briefly describe for us your work. How would you describe it to someone who's never seen it before? You see it. Um, I'm not good at describing. It's what you see. Uh, it's like uh, Inuit stories, old Inuit stories, and sometimes like today, um, what we live today, what our life was like, what it is like right now. And um, you're so well known for things like I'm thinking of Curious Bear, but also you're known for uh, doing uh, modern themes. I'm thinking of uh, uh, an image you did with a, a Beatles record and a record player, or the image of, of Sedna smoking a cigarette. Um, can you tell us why you're interested as well in exploring sort of modern life in Cape Dorset? I've never really lived the uh, traditional Inuit life. Um, a different time where my mom, my mother was born. They lived out on the camp. I live, we live in the community, but we still go out on the land. Um, that's, this is where I grew up, uh, music, like the Beatles, uh, um, different generation. And some artists, even uh, young artists like you, some of them have said they're sort of um, scared to do more modern um, imagery in their art. Uh, scared of, of uh, tackling social issues in your art. They're worried it might not sell. Um, you seem not to sort of have that, that fear. Why, why is that? I, sometimes I have a strong feeling, uh, like the one you mentioned, sitting now, smoking a cigarette, uh, bottles around her, pollution. That's what, that's what I see even when we go out boating. You see garbage floating. Um, it's not very nice. And where did the, the image of Sedna smoking come from? What was it that you were trying to convey in that piece, or what was it that inspired that piece? It's not only the our earth being polluted, it's our uh, society. Uh, drugs, alcohol in our small community. And why do you think that's important to portray in your art? It's, it's a problem. Uh, it's a problem that needs to be addressed. And, um, you know, you, you do a lot of um, art where we see a lot, as you mentioned, about the environment and your concerns about the environment. Um, I was wondering if you could talk just, just briefly about climate change and how it's affecting Cape Dorset. It's affected the community. I know it did when two young men lost their lives um, because where there used to be ice, um, they lost their lives going through the ice. So that's one very clear thing for sure. Uh, that's heartbreaking. It is. Um, early melt, ice melting, means um, less time out on the land, you know, fishing. Um, so that's, it's affected our lives. It's just everyday life now, but it's like um, very, sometimes scary. <laughs> scary how? Um, you know, you. I worry about um, what if we don't get uh, much food from the sea anymore or from the land. Uh, 
Yes. The cost of living up here is very high. But uh, I'm wondering, it's interesting because your art is so popular in the South. Maybe your art helps people in the South see what's really going up, uh, going on up here in the North that we, we don't see because um, maybe the North doesn't get as much attention as it should. I hope it does. A um, um, few, a few, a while back I did a drawing of a polar bear uh, with a Coca-Cola can floating because <laughs> when I was in Ottawa with my son, um, I saw Coca-Cola Coca bear, you know, save the polar bear, but we see Coca-Cola cans floating around, so <laughs> that's, that's uh, something. And what was the name of that image, the, the polar bear with the, the Coke can? I think I thought it the irony, you know. <laughs> the irony. You are one of the most famous uh, and well-known artists um, of the collection. Um, when I've been waiting in line myself at these, the, the day of the print collection is released, your uh, images are some of the first to be sold, even before we, the rest of us get there. Um, why did you decide to go to Arctic College to study to be a, a teacher? I don't know, something, something challenging. Uh, Maybe we should, we should teach our children, uh, you know, to do, things change when you're young. Well, you know, put something in them so they grow up and make changes. Um, I'm curious, what advice would you give to young artists um, trying to establish their career in the North? Uh, maybe not just in Cape Dorset, but, but all across the North. Don't give up. Don't give up. Um, there's many different ways to... Every person has a different talent. Uh, find, try and find what, what you're good at and work on it. And Nguk, I know you come from a family of, of famous artists. Um, what do you think your father uh, would think of the success that you've had? Oh, he would be so proud. I'm, I'm very sure. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Kwanamik. Good night.